Hi guys, welcome to Crick Hunt. Man, Virat Kohli getting his 73rd century in international cricket. Amazing, right? 45th one day international century. This guy was amazing. Just imagine guys, 2022 he ends with a century against Bangladesh and 2023 starts with a century. And I like this honest I mean, points he made during his, uh, I mean, this, uh, what do you call the mid-match speech immediately after innings. He said very rightly, he said, see, I have to work on my fitness. And yes, he was uh, pretty down that he didn't get runs in the Bangladesh series. So he said, I was working hard and making sure that my timing was correct properly and practiced hard. And I like this honest I mean, statements made. That's something like I, love, I like about him. And the kind of focus he's made on fitness issues, that is something tremendous. I think that's a great motivating factor of the youngsters because a guy like Virat Kohli talked about fitness, how he changed his mindset, how his attitude had changed, and simply superb. It's great because let's not find, let's not forget, dear viewers, this is the year of 2023 World Cup. And 2023 World Cup, Virat Kohli is going to be the key for us. And when a guy like Virat Kohli starts off with a century and it, it oozes confidence not only for Virat Kohli, but for the entire team. That is very important for the entire Indian team. That is the most important aspect. And that's what I like about Virat. Well and Virat, fantastic. And the way, the way he paced this innings, the way he played some shots, authentic cricketing shots. Yes, he was slightly, I mean, he himself said he was slightly lucky. But then luck is part of cricket. You have to understand, accept it and move on. And, but the main focus he said was on fitness, which again, he re-emphasized because that's very important, especially for youngsters who are watching it. Then, of course, a good knock, but good to see. Growth back to form. I thought it was an easy 100 for the asking. And he took his time earlier on and made sure that he got his timing right. And then went out to score 83 not out. Fantastic, good opening partnership. Of course, Shubman Gill played. I still believe that Shubman Gill was played again ahead of Ishan Kishan. I felt bad for Ishan Kishan. Come on, dear viewers. The guy gets double 100 the last one day international. And he's, playing the next, he's not playing the next match. But still, Shubman Gill did his bit. But then, of course, this, I mean, India scored a massive total and the Sri Lankans folded up it was expected the Sri Lankans are no way going to chase this total but it's a good beginning for India because 2023 don't forget 2023 main work is going to happen in India and it's going to be an important tournament and India is definitely looking forward to winning it. Because don't forget, last time India won the World Cup was in 2011 and that happened in India. So I'm sure they're trying the various permutation combinations and the team combinations and I'm sure things will work out well. God willing, yes. But I was very impressed with Mohamed Siraj. This guy is a good bowler. Mind you guys, watch out. This guy is a tremendous bowler. Overall, well done Virat, well done Team India, well done Rohit Sharma.